Hey everyone, so we're back for, I guess you could call it round two of desert tasks, the medium level tasks. Once again, I've not looked at them. If you just came from the previous video, you'll see me standing in the exact same spot as I was. There's one duplicate medium task that I will cover in a moment, but, um, okay. See, I knew this was going to happen. If you watched the previous video, riding eagle to the desert. That means I need to go somewhere other than a desert. That means we're going to want to go to Eagle's Peak. Alright, let's get to a bank. I could just use Dominion Tower Amulet, but this one's right here. <laughs> Alright, so... We want to go to... Would Phoenix Lair be the fastest? See, Char would be the fastest, but I think I destroyed that book. Book. Yeah. Okay, Phoenix Lair it is. Now we get a long hike south. I had fun catching those butterflies, but I can't see them now. Oh, here's more. We were good XP. Plus agility XP. Saved me a lot of time on agility. I got from... I was 88 agility when I started hunting butterflies, and I think I was 80 hunt. No, I was 70 hunter. That's right. So from 70 to 99 hunter, I got 88 to 94 agility, I believe. I'm sure there was like lamps or like rewards in between, but by the time I was 99 hunter, I was 94 agility, and I did not actually like run around courses for any of it. The majority came from the butterflies. So that was really nice. It, they are slower hunter XP than Jadinkos, but they save you time on agility. So it's just up to you. Now, arguably, if you did it right, you could probably do Jadinko hunter and then also do like run agility courses combined and still be slightly faster by, I think, a few hours than doing butterflies, but the butterflies are a lot easier than both of those. You just click on them and you watch yourself run to them. And you click on them and you just watch yourself. You don't have to constantly be picking up traps or constantly clicking on stuff to um, do agility course. I need to find these birds. Ah, oh, there we are. Alright, so we're going to run all the way around here. I think you could do this from Fell to Pills too. I just figure this is easier, especially if you don't have whatever done to do that, I don't remember. Oh, can I? Here we go. I'm going to use rope. No, not on that one. That's not for the Eagle Network. That's, I think, part of the quest. I'm going to do it over on here. Yeah, because it's going to have to be Desert Eagle. Jungle Eagle, Desert Eagle. There we go. So, you're going to use your rope on the Desert Eagle. And off we go. <laughs> All right, task one. Since I'm doing these in order, I'm going to uncheck this just for now. Because like I said, I accidentally did one of the mediums on an easy. Okay. Really? Can I even do more of these? I think I did them all for the um, discounted travel routes. For those of you who don't know, you may have seen me do this a few times. You can right click and do previous destination, as long as you know where that was. And you'll go back to it, so if you're going to be constantly home teleporting to the same spot, it saves you a little time. Alright, so for this casket thing, 
It's with, I believe his name is Ali Morris saying something like that. Uh, here he is. Uh, runes. I believe it's runes. Try open a small casket of runes. There we go. That's cool. Second or that that better work. I think this is what's what it is. Solve an easy okay rewards no hints requirements. Feud. One more time. What was it called? Small or Easy. Easy. Rune Doki. No, I swear this is it. <laughs> Examine law. I think that's it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't remember how to do this at all. Like, at all. Hmm. I wonder if I talk to him if he gives me some like guidelines or rules on how to do this. Okay dude, tell me how to do it. <laughs> no one remembers how to do it. Talk, talk to him. Say top thing. Then say by rooms. Then say small puzzle. Then say examine. Okay, so we're on standby for a moment because I really, like, don't remember at all. I see that this is orange and this is yellow, so there's got to be some type of pattern to it. Uh, maybe orange is fire, but I don't know what yellow would be. Earth? Let's try that. No, not fire. Damn it. Okay, that's clearly not working.
Oh, okay, so they can't touch each other then. If that kid's saying it's like Sudoku, so... The fire can't touch fire. Okay. So we're gonna put fire there. Um, let's try this. Earth. Water. Fire. Air. Earth. Oh, damn it. They all gotta go in the same row, too. Got it. So I'm gonna need a water somewhere in here. I can put water here. And then air and water, that means I need fire and earth. And then earth and fire, so I need water and air. Put water here. Air here. Damn it, earth can't be in this category. But I can put air here. And then fire here, and earth here. And that would leave air here. And nope, fire can't be there. Oh, fire can't be there, that's why. Put fire there. And water there. And fire's already there, so it can't be. Earth can go here, and water can go here, and I think I'm done. No? Oh, here we go. Okay. So, um, it disappeared. Go back and look at that finished product for a second if you have to. I mean, it's not guaranteed you're going to have the same puzzle. But, yeah. That's what you got to do. You, you got to have them all in a row, and they got to be different. So that's what it is. Alright, next. Cross the river lump using a crossbow. I feel like I'm gonna need a myth grapple, and I don't think I have a myth grapple. Where the hell is the bank booth? I know I got a banker. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Myth. Oh, I do. I guess I still have them back from when Armadillo required it. And then Chaotic Crossbow. Alright. How are we going to find that spot? You know what? The mini map, but see, you're not going to get to view the mini map. My recording program is weird. I'll, I'll just show you in the actual game. It's just going to show me holding the map right now. So I'm looking for the agility shortcut or whatever it's called. Ah, oh, right, it's the one over by Lumbridge, I believe. That would be why it's called River Lum. So we are going to head over to Lumbridge now. Home teleport will do just fine. And the task after this one is the one that I accidentally duplicated and you'll get to see what it is in this video too. You see it in the easy video on accidents because I was just praying at the statue to get extra HP. So, to cross the River Lum, you need to go south from the Lodestone. Here's the agility shortcut you see on your map. I'm going to grapple strong tree. Get a good view of this. Pretty cool. That did not look like a very secure knot. How funny would it be if I fell in the water? 
It doesn't matter, it's complete. Alright. Next, we're going back to Narda. And now here is the next task in order. Achievements. Okay. Pray at the Elden, this statue in Narda. It's very simple. Use a Narda scroll, run north, pray at the statue right here. And it will give you a task complete pop-up. I can't get it because I accidentally did it in my easy set. Alright, now I can actually set it back to hide complete. Clean that up a little bit. Travel to the fairy ring near the Calphite Lair. Okay, there's a fairy ring north here, so I'm just going to run to it. I guess you could home teleport to Yanil if you wanted to. Again, I'm sorry about the sniffles. I'm still getting over a cold. <sighs> People in the clan always talk and no one answering them. No, they, they talk a lot. Just like right now, no one's on. So there's a few people. I bet you he's going to talk about dungeoneering with random people. Alright, Calphite Lair, you could just select it from your list. If you don't have it in your list, the code will be BIQ. And the medium task completes. Oh, the board's already open. And we're getting close to done with the medium ones, too. Sell a pyramid top to Simon. Damn it, okay. That's only slightly annoying. It's not too bad. So once again, Narda. Look at that boss with his dual crossbows. Max cave uh, patterns are kind of cool. I like my completionist pattern, just double layered, but uh, the max cape, I don't know, it just seems like it has more uh, freedom on the patterns, because the comp cape always goes in the V, no matter what, all four, well, okay, the bottom one is in the V, it's like little sporadic blotches of color, but the other three are all the V pattern in the max cape, at least you've got it in lines and um, a triangle. I don't know, I feel like there's more to design with it. But I'm not complaining, I like my cape exactly how it is. Anyone that knows me, I've had this cape like this for a long time, and I don't plan on changing it. Alright, so here is time for your ascent to the top of the Agility Pyramid. Just watch what I do, and do it also. There are blocks that will come out and push you off, you need to be aware of that. That one turns over, but I think just when you run onto it, it'll turn over. You don't actually fall off. Maybe you do fall off, I don't know. Maybe like if you don't have a high enough agility level. But basically, other than these right here, this what is it, pyramid block, it's sliding, you see. You just run past it. Other than that, you can't progress forward on the pyramid without clicking the obstacle. So I'll show you, like right here. If I'm like spam, okay, see I jumped over a block again that I didn't even know was there. If I'm like spam clicking over here and it's not working, that means there's an obstacle you need to do, so cross gap. It's pretty easy. If you fall, you fall down to the next level below, I believe. I don't think you have to start over. So then up the stairs to the next level. Once again, cross. Let's see if I can beat that guy. Probably not, because he's an entire layer ahead of me. But we're going to try.
And when we get to the top, I will make sure I explain to you how to get the top. Because you have to do this for part of a quest, I believe, also. And I vaguely remember someone going to the top and then, like, climbing down because they didn't realize it. And then I told them what it was and they had to go all the way back up. Yeah, see, he's still a level ahead of me. I'm not going to beat him. Uh, again, watch out for the sliding blocks. I've only seen one so far. Here's the second one. So don't be spam clicking ahead of yourself. You want to run right up to the block before and then run right past it. And upstairs, we got another level to go. See, there's the top. I can't click it yet, but you can see it up there, the little pyramid top. Once again, one of those rotating blocks that I'm pretty sure you just automatically jump over. Okay, so once you get up to the top here, you can leave. Or you can right click on the side here. You can left click too, but it might be hard to get. Climb rocks. When you do that, you will take the pyramid top down. And then you can very simply... Oh, do you really have to go over an obstacle? What's here? You gotta jump this. Okay, so you jump over that and you go down. Enter the doorway. Now you're at the bottom. Sup, lady? You're going in the wrong place. Was this the guy? No. Oh, is she actually training agility here? I think she is. She got her agility clothes on. I don't know, but here, dude, take this thing. Business matters. Show me the money. I don't care how much gold you give me for it. Just give it to me. What? Use. Sell it. There we go. A thousand coins. <laughs> Alright. Thanks. Thanks, dude. That's all I wanted. Alright. Achievements. Create a vial of combat potion from scratch in Narda after killing a goat from the desert. <laughs> How do you need that for that? Avento, I think. Is it? Let's see. A lot of people don't realize you can click on your stats and then you can go through these different things. Combat potion I know is fairly low. There we go. No, it's a Harlander. Harlander in ground desert goat horn. Okay. So, how do I want to obtain a Harlander? I guess I'm about due to collect for my kingdom anyway. Hmm. Fastest bank teleport. Here we go. Oh, I think it'll tell me if I go to the elite test. I think it'll tell me 2496. No, we got their level showing. Um, I think it'll tell me what the rewards are if I go to the elite tasks, but I kind of just want to find out when it happens. Alright, so I'm going to need those runes. Put that log right away. Probably put my cat a crossbow away too. I'll get that out if I need it later. I'm gonna get a miscellaneous scroll. Cause I gotta go top up my kingdom before I collect. So we're going to go to kingdom real fast. I'm not sure if it actually is faster to mine coal with a bronze pick than to chop mavels with a um, bronze hatchet, but it sure seems like it. And I should only need one rock. For completing the Fremenic Diary, you get like bonus whatever um, favor with these people. So you get multiple favor percents at once if you have enough or all of the diary done. So if I'm like 3 or 4% down, I can just do one. 
And of course I tell you it's faster and I'm gonna sit here. Okay, thank you. Alright, so he's good. Now I can go back over to Narda. It's a good thing I kept a few vials of water. I had saved up, I don't even know how many thousands of vials of water. Because I just buy them from, um, Karamcha, what is it, Shiloh Village, every day. Well, I try to buy them every day. And so I had just, like, so many of those saved up. I sold all of them except for whatever thousand. Where are my herbs? Oh, I didn't collect. That's right. Okay. This is why I'm a big fan of Lunars. I mean, like, right here, you can change your spellbook back to normal with the Omni Romancer. You can charge your crystals at Elunet. You get new Slayer Tasks. You can trade in your Penguin Points. A Slayer Task there. Slayer Task. Slayer Task. Slayer Task. Slayer Task. Uh, recharge Rune Pouches. Even though you can use that if you've done Livid Farm, you can automatically recharge your Rune Pouches. You don't need Livid Farm. You can do that. I know I'm talking very fast. I'm just, this is not a guide on how to use Lunars. You can collect your sand. And you can collect from your kingdom. So I just wanted to mention those things while I was in here. <laughs> I'll give this kid multiple glass in a second. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, do I have any? No, I need... Really, I don't have any seaweed either. See, I can collect my um, sand, but I'm not going to have seaweed. I might have to go to Catherby. Who's asking? Danny. Where did he even go? He's under there. Okay. Alright, so we're going to get our sand from Bert. <clears throat> Once again, this is the awesome part about being on Lunars. Okay, so I got my sand there. I'm going to go over to Catherby real quick. Why do I not have enough runes and astrals? Um, it's going to be noted anyway. I'll have to get it out of the bank here. I guess for those of you who don't know, you're going to find out now. Probably crash the price of seaweed, cause me to lose more money. There's a bunch of random stuff you could do every day. You talk to this dude, get some seaweed. You don't actually have to type 80, you can just type anything over 80. I just spam the twos because I'm already on that menu. Like I'm already hitting two for seaweed. Alright, back at Narda. Is that a combat potion? Yes it is. Look at that boss in his Slayer Cave. Woody X. Look at that, he just got a free mention. Alright, so we'll get out some sand. Get out some, I guess I'm going to need to make one for me too. And it is going to be fire, air, and astral. Yes. Um, oh wow, I need a lot more of those things than I realized. Okay, make a glass. Talk to him. Say top option like hot or something. Then ask to buy rooms. Then say small casket. Then say examine. Dude, you keep stealing me telling this person what I'm doing and you're not going to get your molten glass. No, I'm just kidding. It's kind of nice to see other people who actually know what they're doing, too. Alright, so, let me get this Harlander out. Go kill this goat. Tough battle there. Damn. Just a goat horn. Of course, bury my bones. Why is it there's I only have one. I don't know why that menu is coming up. They did it right with herbs and everything else. Well, most everything else. 
that in there, put that in there. Congratulations, combat potion complete. No. What the hell? What was the task? Not challenges, achievements. Create a vial of combat potion from scratch in NAR. Really? I'm next to the damn bank. Okay. So we're going to get another Harlander, another vial of water. I'm now actually inside Narda. It's a good thing that ground horn saved for my scroll of cleansing, otherwise I would have had to kill another one, which would have been horrifying. Alright, what's the problem? Do I have to fill the vial of water? Seriously, what is the problem? Really? That's why that kid needed molten glass. <laughs> wow. Do I have to fill it with water? Really? I guess, I guess so. I could run north, north to the fountain, but I'm just going to get out some runes for humidify. I don't know why I'm taking out laws. I'm just spamming stuff at this point because I would like to get this one over with. No? I can't possibly need to grow one. There's no place to grow it out here. Okay, I guess I'm killing another goat. Oh, I probably gotta grind the bones inside Narda. What a chore this has been. Alright, let's put this in. Oh my god, what am I missing? I made the vial. Filled it with water. Put a Harlander in it. I ground the horn in Narda. I don't know what I'm missing. Don't know what else there is. All right, we're going to try it again again. So, got my molten glass. I got a bunch of combat potions now. I guess I got to, you know, I bet you I have to fill it with water from the fountain. We're going to just get out a vial. I bet you that'll work since I've got all the other parts complete. I don't think it's specific per, like, the exact potion you're making. I think you could do it in different pieces. There we go. You have to fill it with water from here. Alright. So, on to the next task. Achievements. Four more. Mine granite at the quarry south of the bandit camp. No problem. We are going to get out a real pickaxe for that, because I am not about to take uh, two minutes to mine a thing of credits. Okay, we are going to home teleport to Bandit Camp. You must have completed Desert Treasure to use that teleport. You probably must have completed Desert Treasure to do these tasks anyway. Maybe not the easy and medium, but the hard and elite, most likely. This is also how you get to Calphite King. Calphite King, you'd keep going south. I'm gonna go west.
And this is granite. Done. Next task. Create a spirit calvite pouch at the obelisk south. Okay. A lot of people don't know where this is, and I actually don't know why this even exists. I also guarantee I'm going to have to pay a crap ton of money. But I'm not on teleporting. I'll run to a bank. And then use a tab. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to pay a ton of money just for um, whatever I need to make a spirit cow fight. And you better believe I'm going to. <laughs> not collecting whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Alright, so we're gonna out some shards, a pouch. I'm gonna need to make some of this stuff. Oh, why do I still have that or I should have drawn or no, that uh granite. Uh, I can put this away, I can put this away. Uh, I can put those away. Alright, now over to GE. Uh, I got my tab, that'll work fine. I can drop this. Do I get any XP for this? Nope. <laughs> I just made myself some work. What do I get when I craft this though? No, oh, too small. Okay, I don't know why you have a craft option then. So once again, you can open up your menu. I'm going to go to Familiars. Spirit Calphite, you need... Oh, Potato Cactus, that's no problem. Oh, uh, yeah, I need a charm. I was going to go to the Obelisk with no charms. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, I'm buying it. I can't be bothered, actually. I'm trying to go collect it from somewhere. I could get it from the Calphite Hive. Oh, whatever. I bet you there's like a level 4 account down at the Calified Hive, either botting or legitimately picking up uh, potato cacti right now, making a ton of money. Alright, potato cactus. I'm not even going to waste my time with the 5%. Oh, look at that, it's sold. Oh my god, I got such a deal, I got some money back. That's what I do for everything, and I always feel like a boss. I'm like, oh my god, I just got such a good deal, when I really didn't. Okay, I got all this stuff, so now we're going to teleport here. If you have Slayer Rings, you could teleport to Simona. It's pretty much the same thing. I don't think there's any other quicker way down here. Maybe if you have the Cramulet, but I'm unsure on those teleport locations. Alright. So you're going to go south in the city. <laughs> Let's see if I can see it from here. Probably not. Okay, no I can't. There's a trapdoor. So I'm just going to click over here. And let my dude run all the way around for me. I still don't understand why this obelisk is here. It's nowhere near a bank. Um, you can't get here quickly. It doesn't make any sense. At all. I mean, other than this task, but, yeah. So yeah, you can actually see the summoning icon on your map. You're gonna open this trap door. Oh, I guess you're just gonna climb down it. And look at that, no one's here, because no one knows about it, or no one's doing tasks. Sometimes it doesn't automatically make your thing come up, it's not a big deal. If you log, relog, it should work. Find blue charm pouches. Yeah. Spirit Calphite. Confirm. Task complete. <laughs> two more, I think, right? Yep, two more. Attempts to cut a log from the teak tree near the ruins of Uzer. Do I still have my axe with me? No, I don't. It's alright, we gotta go over to Narda anyway. Yeah, so I've been doing Calvi King lately, so when I do my like farm tree runs and random stuff, 
stuff just gets like thrown in my bank so it's not been like super organized as usual now on top of that here's all this task stuff it's gonna be a mess I guess I'll spend the time when I'm uploading these videos uh, rearranging my bank all right teak tree I got my X now I'm purposely not preparing for each um, successive task like right now I could look at what the final one is so I could be ready to go straight there I'm not doing that just so you guys can get a literal step-by-step -step process on how to do everything in these tasks as you should have hopefully already noticed at least from the previous video or this one I think I mentioned it at the front all of the links to each individual task are in the description so you can click on a link next to the task name and it will take you to that time of the video because these videos the first one was I think 30 minutes it might have been even more because I was lost at the front and this one I mean I'm still recording so I can't know exactly how long it is right now I could check but don't worry it's probably like 20 minutes also so just skip to the parts you need or watch the whole video through for all my commentary you can also if you're just interested in doing the tasks as fast as possible and you need all of them not just something that you're stuck on click on that one and then click on the next one and then you just you keep going so I've run all the way north and then east you'll see this mine here and just east here is Oozer. Now I'm actually not sure. You could take a carpet, but uh, actually with the quick travel thing, that would probably be the fastest way. But either way. Alright, I'm not sure where this teak tree is. Is that it? No. So we're going to find it together. Oh, there it is. Why is there a random teak tree here? It's so weird. And there we go, got a tea log, might as well light it, get some XP. Alright, final task for medium set. Boost your stats at a mascot's altar. Missing my mummy, okay, that tells me exactly where I need to go then. And see, this is convenient. I'm right here. Oh, camera wrong way. Head directly to the queen. I think Jagex did that on purpose. Like, if you do the tasks and the progression, some of them should be near each other. Okay, so where is this altar? Is that an altar? No. Is that an altar? No. Where the hell is the altar? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. Is that an altar? No. Hmm. I do not want to run across that floor. Yeah, just return to the surface. And back in we go. We're going to the temple this time. Damn, that's not an altar either. We'll find this thing. That is a boat. That's not even real water. That's that's just a tile. It looks like water. A cheap parlor trick they got going here. Trying to fool people. Study decorative thing. Nope, I don't think we're going through there. Hmm. Where would this altar be? Damn. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Try going through this door. And I think when we go down here, it is going to be across that puzzle we were just at. Yeah. Hmm. I gotta find it somewhere. 
it may not actually be in here, so this is once again a reason why you can skip directly to the parts in the video for when I do find something. Oh good, bunch of bugs. Exactly what I want to do, get attacked. Okay, so it's clearly not in the temple. Hmm. Now, could it be... I'm going to go check this other location. But I don't remember how to get there. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm. I wish they'd give me a damn hint, other than missing my money. There was a lot that this quest entailed. I was hoping it'd be nice and easy in this temple. Let's try one more time. We're gonna go in by Leela. Hmm. All right, well, let's start looking around the desert. Now, there's a rift over here. But I'm pretty sure this was part of Spirit of the Elid, or whatever that quest was called. I don't think this is from Missing My Mummy. Oh, that might cause a little video glitch there. Oh, this cave is dark. Okay. Okay, I'm not scared of the dark. I'm probably going to die. Oh, okay. It's not going to let me in anyway. A basket's altar. Yeah, in the interest of just getting this along with, I'm going to ask someone. It's nice to remember as much as possible, but I really don't have time, especially since I'm trying to do this for you guys, to just uh, run around looking for stuff. I wonder if that guy's actually crafting or doing a hard task, harder elite. That's a statue. You guys telling me I'm, I need to go where I just was. I'm not so sure, but we'll go look again. Here we go on our long run. Once again, feel free to click the link. All of this, like, trial and error is not included in the actual task itself. That will not be, when you click the link, you'll just go straight to actually getting the task complete. It's just a lot easier for me to do one continuous recording, plus for people who want to see step-by-step step what to do, 
You can do that. Alright, head directly to the queen. You guys tell me I can pray at two places. I'm not seeing two places to pray. I'm not seeing any places to pray, actually. Really? No, but these aren't a mask yet. Alright, let's try. Ah, oh, there's a mask it. That's not an altar, though. It's more of a statue. Congratulations, you have completed the medium task. Speak to Zuhr in Narda to claim your reward. Alright, to Narda we go! Oh, let me not, like, run all over the place. I gotta find the person. I think I saw this person earlier too when I was looking for stuff. Alright, so in the herb shop, we're gonna talk to this person. Oh, actually, before I do this, I want to. Okay, oh wow! What? What? 2.5? What is Fury? I think Fury is 2.4. What? No way. Where's Fury? Oh, no. Never mind. I'm high. I was getting the numbers mixed up. 4.2. I was going to say, no way Jack is going to give us like a worthwhile reward from that. No, I don't want you to clean crap for me. I want you to talk to me about tasks. Oh, th wow, it's it's actually getting good, and that's only the medium. Alright, so this concludes the medium task video. Is this going to tell me how much this lamp gives? No. I'm sure it tells you in the reward, though. Alright, so this concludes the medium task video and uh, click on the link that is on screen now for the hard task system. These videos should be getting shorter because there are less tasks and um, they're probably, like the harder ones, I've probably done things more recently. Anyway, click the, video, click the link on the video right now for hard task video and I'll see you there.